because at the competition uh, we need to be a little bit more correct than uh, in a concert. You know, the, the amount of liberty of the interpretation at the competition goes a little bit, it's a little bit less. It's not, of course, too much because otherwise you play like a machine. Yeah? But uh, not to exaggerate things, not to be too flamboyant, not to be too like uh, expert. You know? uh, whereas in a, a big hall recital, you need to do a little bit more. You know, like to open your mouth a little bit more and say things a little bit more expressively. You know? So what, what my purpose of all this saying is, every time you have to sort of uh, understand the situation. What, what I'm, I'm aiming for, what this uh, event and what this whole need. You know? Like a funeral or you played for a lullaby for a kid. I mean, this is a special situation, and you perfectly well how to play it. Liza, I mean, to, 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 to calm down everything. Yeah. And also with uh, every composition, you uh, have to know for yourself, say to yourself, what you are actually um, wanting to, what you want to express, like with this etude. You know? How would you like the public to feel when you play it? What is all the reason of the playing? Like the really the the the, the highest possible uh, uh, mm, uh, feeling about the purpose, why I'm playing. So ca can you maybe say us uh, what would you like you to, to the public to feel when you're playing? Why you are playing it? Does it check perfectly? Yeah. Um. I feel like half Deutsch. Yeah. It's gonna get out. Ja, das ist, äh, muss, das ist äh, theoretisch zu sein, mhm. aber emotional, äh, äh, ja, emotional, äh, in emotion, um, on the emotional level. Um, also, ja, ja, it's sometimes difficult, <lacht> but sometimes it's, it's really necessary or helpful at least mhm. to express it for yourself, because uh, a lot of times, uh, if I'm not quite convinced what I actually want to say, then the public has the same kind of, ah, you know, uh, what really it is. You know? but, but sometimes it's, it's perfectly clear. Aha. Uh -huh. you know? okay. Yeah. So maybe yeah, it's, it's, it's think of, um, I know, it's, it's a beautiful etude, right? It's a, it's a beauty. You want to show the, the, the beauty of the sound and to fill us with some kind of harmony. Ne? It's, it's a harmony. In comp if you are not quite sure, just compare it with other piece. Like you will play the revolutionary agent, right? Yeah. Okay, then you have a better idea. Also, if you uh, compose a program for a recital or a comp program for some uh, competition, you also put things together because Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, you put these two. This is very good combination of the two etudes. They are very in contrast. Okay. So, the the A A flat major uh, is also called uh, uh, Apollon etude or a uh, heart etude. You know, it's it's, it's this uh, heart. So it's it's um, uh, it's very fine. It's very mm, beautiful. It's harmonious. Uh, everything is in harmony and just blossoming and it's a very nice with this beauty right uh, in comparison with the revolutionary it is very dramatic and uh, I don't know uh, revolutionary really mm -hmm. this piece it's sort of brave and uh, open and uh, maybe even ang angry right we have to be like actors in it right uh, I mean to, to be possible to to act or to play any character also in Chopin, you, you find uh, not only the beautiful things, but uh, uh, let me, uh, for instance, this, uh, this Polonaise. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's not a 
beautiful music. It, and Chopin himself uh, was uh, in very bad mood, and he was angry about himself. And the, he said to George Sand, because he's a composer, my, my music is getting ugly. Because he just, he did not feel well or something happened and he wrote this music. So even in Chopin music, which is the most beautiful, you find these pieces that are this one. So just to specify perfectly well, what is this piece about in words? Or maybe uh, imagine some picture, you know, the what, what can, whatever can be the seaside, the harmonious with with, um, uh, or even even uh, for other senses, for smell, you know, the, it's a, yes, <laughs> I, I, I noticed. <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, so, so to specify it for you, or also uh, mm, imagine it as, as a movement, you know, like, like a conductor does. <laughs> Or sing it for yourself. This all um, mm, is is to convince yourself and hence the public about the exact atmosphere you want to to project. You know, so, so um, stop talking about it, but maybe showing a little bit. Uh, let, let's start with this. observation that you are focused both with your mind and your body the same. I think you have to be focused with your mind and heart a lot, 100% almost, and but be more relaxed with your body, you know, to create, especially here when you have this kind of free feeling, right? <laughs> Let's try to... the joints, you know? Here, 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 and here. Mm -hmm. Everything has to be, everything has to be fluent, you know? Uh, if you are not uh, relaxed in every joint, then you block sort of this psychophysical energy that is, is coming from music, and the music is dictating you something. And you block it here, 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 and then it comes like through filter, you know? So especially, I think, uh, in the wrist and maybe elbow.
if you are playing a chord like this, you know, it's not necessary to hold the spinal, the tension here, all the time. You, know, like this. you actually can be very relaxed. Not, not, don't have this feeling of stretching all the fingers and drums. Pass. I'm not saying they are stiff. I, I just feel there is something uh, like maybe 20% 20, 20 that has to be relaxed in your case. Yeah. You don't need to, to push really. I mean, it, the music will do it for you. You know, yeah. uh, but it was perfect. The, the the beginning was absolutely divine. Yeah. Well, let's let's do it once more. And this, while you do it crescendo, you don't need to really to, to push. Let it let it happen. Let it happen. <laughs> speak about sorry I mean, little things like how to how to make the sound most beautiful yeah these two two things if if you press these two uh, notes simultaneously in the same moment very strictly it's like this if you break it in a split of a second. If it's you break too much, then it's a cliche. No, no, it's not. We have to sort of shape these two things, you know. Uh, this finger is a little bit more in tension. This is a little bit more relaxed. And you create the space. Otherwise, it do you have the difference? Yeah. yeah. And there is another thing. No, maybe first let's let's try this. This is actually a little bit more sharp, and this is a little bit more dim. Huh? And you create the space, you create the music space. Yeah. It's a little 
little thing. It's, it's a very tiny thing, but it makes a lot of lot of difference. And the second thing is what what uh, tonality you think is the first tone? What 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 uh, chord? Because it's alone this tone, right? And then if you latently feel. I think it's because otherwise it's the same. And if you if you think it's this, you know, these little 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 things. Come, come. So the tension goes up. Try to uh, play the, the 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 music only uh, harmonic, only harmonics of the music, to make only harmony and melody together without any other things. No. Not really. It's it's very useful because in that case, in that, that sense, you will uh, have a better picture how the music is really made. Because this this is this is what we call a, a source. Right? It's a source. It's a it's important source, but it's not the the skeleton of the music. It's not the the columns and what is really important. Important is what is the most important usually it's melody with harmony and uh, just play this sort of a skeleton of the music yeah mm -hmm. would you try that Yes, yeah, C, C, F minor, then F minor, F up, F more, then B flat, the bad one, 
So that's something for you to to remember and to practice. Yeah, to 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 be quite sure how the harmonies are. Also, it's very good for the memory because then uh, you are, have much more logical um, print of the of the harmonies. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, let, let's play it from the beginning and we'll speak about the sorts now. brings you control of the keyboard and sensitivity mm -hmm. yeah? um, then you are just like like a painter 
then, then he, you can use a red color or reddish color or a little bit more to the orange or a little bit more to the pink or a little bit more to the violet. You know, your, your palette gets varied. If, if, you, if you feel this little thing. It's like the painters, uh, uh, especially in, in Russia, I, I think, the, the f one of the first thing for, uh, in the Academy of, of, um, um, of the Art, uh, they would, would paint an egg, I, an, an egg. I mean, for most of us, egg is egg, no? It's just round and it's white. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it's oval and it's white. But for them, if you look at it for half, half a minute, then you will find out there's actually a structure in the egg, you know? And if one can see these little things, then it becomes a more sensitive, sensible artist, or uh, sensitive artist. You know? So that's the comparison with the visual thing. Yeah, yeah very good. So, um, and now uh, another thing you can do, uh, is to play uh, without the top of the riff, without the source, without the middle voices, only the uh, melody and the bass. Yeah. And that's a uh, good uh, practice to do a little bit faster than uh, uh, than the actual uh, tempo. Dum, 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 dee, dum, dum. Why? Because <coughs> you have a better sense of the whole picture, of the phrase. don't don't hear quite well these things you know so this is the problem of, of, of uh, some uh, pianists that are very skillful with hands they, uh, the hands will do the work for them but they actually cannot hear you know uh, uh, so or they can of course hear but um, it's it's maybe the instrument you know, uh, like piano, is sort of a simplified in, in the sense that we don't need to actually uh, find the right note. In, in violin, you have to find the B flat, you know, so that it's, it's perfectly there. Here it is there, but then uh, every child can play ta 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 but there is no relationship between the notes. <laughs> There's no relationship between bass and this. So we have to actually mm, create an illusion that there is a crescendo on one note, that there is a bogum between yeah? somehow create this illusion. Yeah? And to, to hear also every, every uh, connection with the bass and the, and the soprano, inner voices, harmonies, how they develop. And everything that it's it's on your level, it's already very important because you can play. You, know, you can play. You are a uh, very skillful um, uh, pianist, and now uh, you want to become a more fine pianist you know, to show finer things, to show more perfectly what you want. And this, what I uh, what I demonstrated to you, everything should add to your um, uh, skills and to your palette and to your means of expressing things. No. So first thing is uh, understanding the structure, harmonically, melodically, rhythmically, so uh, like we, we, we've had. The second thing, the second thing is uh, technically be able to express nuances. And that's the, the, um, the practicing in, in uh, pianissimo, mainly. Because then you, you find the ultimate 
uh, basis for any other color you can, uh, you can also uh, fortissimo, fortissimo places play in pianissimo uh, as fortissimo. That's very good also to hear everything, you know, to be able, then, then even the fortissimo for you will be different kind of fortissimo, you know, this or this or or white fortissimo or victorious fortissimo or maybe the color will change uh, dramatically for, for you um, otherwise one has a little bit uh, is limited in in, uh, in the color yeah okay so shall we shall we proceed to break okay let, let's let's play more music and go on yeah compare those things unconsciously, you know? Yeah. So to underline the changes, always to find where the change is, if the music seems similar, but actually is not, then it's always a good thing, you know? Maybe can you demonstrate? <laughs> Romantic phrase. 
phrase is not that um, uh, geometrically strict. It goes from a little bit slower, then it gains tempo on, on the way, and just before the top of a phrase, it goes a little bit wider. Okay, so we start a little bit, so it makes a curve like this, you know, like maybe like this. Yes. Before the top of the phrase, yeah. it goes a little bit. Yeah, so it, it's it's not much, you know. I, maybe I exaggerated it now, but it's not straight. It's not. phrases that need a lot to go forward and, and stop at the, at, the, at the top and then sort of fade out. But this, this is a little thing, you know, but maybe you can show. Starting a little bit, a little less, a little bit. Mysterious. some note or harmony or just musical moment important. Let's say and this is an important moment, right? What we can do to make it more important, to make it you know, to, to, to point at this note, you know? Of course we can put more dynamic to it. It can be more Right? Or it can be it can be delayed. And that's why if, if also if we speak, right? If 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 we are trying to emphasize on something, then we say, and this was this day. Make it a little bit delayed. Or make it a little bit longer. It was this day. So stay with that tone a little bit longer. Or even we can make it less this dynamic. We can actually underline something by by saying, and it was this day, you know. So there are different means of, of doing it. Sometimes this is more appropriate than the other. You know? so maybe this way. I would use a little bit more of a sound, plus maybe delay. Or maybe stay longer. Here. 
So this is actually in this Chopin music and other music as well, but especially Chopin, uh, it's very important to find out where is the, the where are the moments of most where they are mo most beautiful, and usually they are when there is a harmonic change. <laughs> Because if, if we are sort of um, not aware of those things, it's, it's okay, but it's not beautiful. It's not possible to show every beauty, I mean, to, but to pick really the, the, the places that are utmost beautiful later on. <laughs> Also the, the softest place in, in the etude, and I put a little bit. Uh, I, I played a little bit slower. So this is another moment, very beautiful. Because everything fades out and only the 
this you know like 10 12 places in this etude that are utmost beautiful and we have to point at them you know this is what is this is why all the music is for you know this is the point of the music this, is, <gasps> this moment <gasps> you know and if we miss them then it's okay but but not really why people go to concerts and to something to hear something so to extra? Sorry? No, no, it's all right. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's a little bit of theory. I don't. I, I hope you don't mind that I played more than you. But um, just to show you mm, what 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 one can aim for now. You know, as you are, you have good hands. You have good technique. You have good ears. Everything good. Now aim for something special. And uh, actually, the thing is that you don't hit, you don't have to add anything to music. No, everything is there, just to uh, explore it. You know, find the moments, find it there in the music. Because the the bad thing about creativity of of interpreter of uh, interpreter is that uh, sometimes it's that the pianist adds something to the music, like look what I I added to Chopin. No, it's not good because it's always artificial, like you add I don't know, whatever to whatever. It's it but but you find it there. That's the that's the way to do it. But it's all there, you know, just to find it. And just to know how to underline the beauty. So by making the tone um, uh, more or less or uh, then make it a little bit uh, of a delay or just make it a little longer or a combination of things, you know, or even less. Uh, so that's 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 it. Okay, let's uh, perhaps start. And we'll try to find that beautiful moments. Yeah. Okay. You know where it is. Yeah. Of course, the right 
right measurement for it. But it's, it was great. Nira, nira. But it's always better to exaggerate. Uh, at if, if you, let's say, if you are a uh, pianist that plays only pianissimo, you know, uh, and it's my student, I, I encourage the people to play more and even to exaggerate, even play rough, but at least not the same mistake. You know? But they are, they are not like that. They usually uh, stay with the piano. And I said, why don't you play longer? I said, because I'm afraid that I will exaggerate it. You know, you know what I mean? But to exaggerate is much better than to stay with the same mistake, to make uh, another kind of mistake. You know? So th that, that's, that's much better. Also, there are some, pe some people that uh, play very soft, only soft, and it's, it's psychological, because if I ask them, can you shout? Then I find out that they cannot. You know, it's, it's, it's impossible for them psychologically to shout. So it's not a musical thing, it's a psychological thing. No. But with, with you is no problem. So, let's do it again. Or, again from here. Yeah. Because then uh, it's not a surprise anymore. Yeah? So <laughs> Why do you 
Yes, sorry. Why do you think there is this so much of a A flat major? What is the purpose of it? Yeah. I think the purpose to show that even within the same uh, A flat, there can be this little differences, like diamond makes different reflections. It's still the same diamond, right? Something like that. Maybe I exaggerated it now. Yeah? But not to play... Uh, he always tries to bring out the, the, the dissonance. Hmm? Let's, let's try the last chord. <laughs> chance to convince the public <laughs> that the music is beautiful, huh? slow down a little, a little bit more in the end. It's always better to slow down a little bit more than, than nothing. To let them, they have to, uh, the public has to also, also know that it will be ending, right? Should not be a surprise for them. Enjoy every note. You have to have a little bit lighter hand. Only, only finger things like a, like a butterfly, butterfly, you know? No. And also, maybe not that quick. Not this, but it's very high. You, you see, very close to the keyboard, and I'm not going to the depth of the keyboard. But, but only this. Yes, yes. So this is actually, I, I was trying to, to, to 